everyone welcome to today's video my name is stephanie and today i have a little haul video for you i actually had picked up these polishes a couple of months ago but it was just a polish here two over there as a full disclaimer these are all polishes that released in the past few months and i'm not exactly sure on their availability mainly for the first three polishes from ethereal and lindy designs so i'm sorry about that i know it can be kind of annoying to share polishes that aren't exactly around anymore but on the off chance that they do come back or if you find them in a d stash at least you'll know my thoughts on them but i will save more of my thoughts for the end for now let me just show you my haul so the first polish I picked up was several months ago. This is Ethereal Lacquer's Calcifer. And to be completely honest, I don't know if this is still available. Unfortunately, Ethereal is one of those shops that closes their website unless they have a launch. And I don't follow the brand too closely, so I'm not sure if this one is gonna be coming back on the next restock or launch or whatever. But I did still want to share it with you all because it is an absolutely beautiful shade. As you saw from the first coat it is a very very sheer almost kind of mauve jelly base that is super packed with this glowing golden shimmer that also shifts to orange it is just so fiery and so glowy you guys know that i love super glowy shimmers like this one so i just had to pick it up when i saw the swatches of it and i really like the formula too i've heard that ethereal can be a little bit thick but i found that this one was super easy to work with then I picked up a couple of shades from Linby Designs, which I was really excited about since I had tried them through PPU before, but never really shopped them outside of that. This first polish is called Apricity, and it was part of this Facebook group customs kind of shade. I'm not really on Facebook, but I did see her post this on Instagram, and it was on the website, so it didn't seem like you had to join that Facebook group to actually purchase this. And I obviously had to pick this up because it is just this super dainty, baby pink curly base with this really glowy hot pink shimmer that also shifts to orange and gold in extreme angles again super glowy kind of giving these like early sunrise vibes i absolutely love this one it definitely has a very pale pink color so i think it looks best built up in three coats just to get the most baby pink color you can but either way the shimmer is super gorgeous especially in indirect light and the other Linby that I picked up was Bittersweet Chocolate, which I think was a part of the Chocolate Box collection. It was a little quad that I think was released for Valentine's Day. Looking back on the social media posts, it doesn't say that it was a limited edition collection, but none of the four shades are available on the website anymore. So I'm going to assume that they are retired. I'm sorry, but I was just so excited over this one. I just have really been loving these kind of rosy milk chocolate browns. The other brown in the quad was actually a little bit deeper and kind of reminded me of Kathleen and Co's Rosary Pea from Polish Pickup a few months ago. But since I have that one, I decided to skip it and just get this one. And I absolutely love this so much. I think the base color is just so beautiful and flattering. It's kind of like a neutral shade, but a little bit more exciting with that pink shimmer that also shifts to gold in extreme lighting. It is just so gorgeous. And finally, I picked up a couple of shades from Polish for Days Vernal Equinox collection, which was their spring release this year. The first one is Lush, which I got recommended a couple of times before, and I was trying to stay strong and tell myself I didn't need another purple with a blue shimmer in my collection, but here we are. I caved, I couldn't help myself, it is just such a stunning color, but this wasn't even my first pick from the spring collection but obviously it was my second choice <laughs> this one is just super super stunning like it is just your sheer shimmery goodness in a bottle the glow is absolutely insane too like i really did think that i didn't need this one because i have others like it and i kind of do as you'll see later but in a way i feel like this one is even more glowy i don't know maybe it's the shimmer maybe it's just the base color or something but i I just absolutely love this one, no surprise. 
My top pick though was actually Blossom, which is I think maybe like a dark orchid kind of base color. Like it's one of those purpley pinks that leans a little bit more on the purple side, but it's not as bright as what I would normally think of an orchid color. It almost has this mutedness to it, but maybe it's just that it's a little bit sheer, especially here on the first coat. I know it doesn't really look super impressive, but the base really does build up so beautifully on two coats alone. Obviously there's still going to be some nail line, but it's pretty covered up for the most part. And the shimmer was just so so strong and glowy in this one which i don't know it just really caught my attention when i first saw the swatches i just love this color combination of the shimmer going from this like reddish pink to this orange and gold in extreme lighting all against that orchid kind of base color it is just like a sunset in a bottle i did end up doing a third coat for this one and it gave me a lot more coverage but still not a hundred percent opaque and the last polish that I picked up, I guess technically isn't a polish, this is one of their soft focus base coats in the shade Briar Rose. This is basically a super dusty kind of blush toned blurring base coat and I ended up really really loving this one. It had really nice coverage on the first coat alone as you see here, but I figured the best way to show you the difference is to show you how this blurring base coat looks underneath all of the sheer polishes that I shared today, so that's all on the left side and the swatches on the right are just with a clear base coat. The whole point of a blurring base coat is to just blur your nail line a little bit more. So if for whatever reason you don't want to do three coats of a sheer shimmery polish, you can end up doing one coat of a blurring base and then two coats of a shimmery sheer. And it pretty much would look the same as if you're wearing three coats of the polish itself. Here's the example of Polish for Days Blossom, where I have three coats of the polish on the right versus just two on the left. And I would say it's a little bit darker on on the right but as far as the coverage goes it's pretty much the same it definitely makes a bigger difference for even sheerer shades if you're just wearing them in one coat alone like ethereal's calcifer can almost pass as a topper if you're using it in one coat but i think with the blurring base it just makes it look so much more like a completed two coat manicure i feel like the biggest difference is here with apricity which again was that super pale pink base color just having one coat of the blurring base makes so much of a difference in terms of the coverage and the main reason that I love this base coat is because I feel like the color just doesn't really change the color of the polish at least not for all of the shades like maybe for a slightly deeper shade like bittersweet chocolate you can notice that it looks a little bit lighter on the left hand side but it's not enough to bother me I actually still really like it this way and just find it flattering and now getting into comparisons, starting with Ethereal Calcifer, I already knew before buying it that it was going to be extremely similar to Mooncat's Flight of the Monarchs. And they are. They are definitely very, very similar. I would say like fraternal twins maybe not exact dupes i would say that the shimmer in calcifer is a little bit more of a golden yellow head on while it's more orange in mooncat then for Lindby's apricity i wanted to quickly show this next to all of av cirrus from the most recent vernal collection i knew they weren't going to be dupes but i thought they kind of gave off similar vibes being these very very soft light colors with these glowing reddish pink shimmers so aside from the very obvious difference of their base colors where apricity is like a baby pink and cirrus is a warm white i think the shimmer glows a little bit more in apricity Next for Bittersweet Chocolate, here it is next to Kathleen & Co's Rosary Pea from Polish Pickup earlier this year. Like I mentioned before, that one is kind of like a very similar polish, just a bit darker and more of like a milk chocolate brown. Then for Polish for Days Lush, I wanted to show this next two Phoenixes together until the end, which is another Polish pickup shade. Definitely one of my favorite blue shimmers in a purple base, but obviously this is a deeper blue tone purple, so nowhere near dupes. If anything, I thought maybe Bees Knees Lacquer's Dumacorn would be something closer. It kind of is, but it's not an exact dupe by any means. As you can see, the base colors are already pretty different, where Dumacorn is more of like a true 
purple kind of lavender and I would say Lush has this almost lilac base where it's a little bit more of a pinky leaning purple but even if the bases were similar the shimmers are slightly different where Dumacorn is more of a lime green head on and then shifts to this aqua color in more indirect light while Lush shifts from aqua to this deeper cobalt blue and I feel like the shimmer is a little stronger in Lush. So I think it's a pretty good alternative for Dumacorn. Then for Blossom, it immediately reminded me of Polish for Days Electra, which I think was from last year's summer collection. These definitely look really similar in the bottle. I feel like the difference is a lot more apparent on the nail, where Blossom has a little bit more of a buildable crelly base that I think is a little darker and more pink. And Electra is more sheer, but I think the shimmer is the same. And lastly for Briar Rose, I wanted to show this next to Plum Taupe, which is the first blurring base coat that I had picked up during Black Friday. I had tried it a couple of times, but I just ended up not loving it. Even though it doesn't look that much different than Briar Rose, the undertone is definitely very different, and I really think that it just affected the way the polish looked on my nails. So that wraps up my little haul over the past few months. As always, I can't wait to hear what you think of these shades that I picked up. I would love to know if you grabbed any of them or if there were other polishes from these releases that you picked up. I usually mention during my polish pickup wishlisting videos, I really try not to buy a lot of polish these days because I just really don't need any more. But sometimes I just cannot help myself and I see some polishes that I just really would love to add to my collection. But now that I do have these and especially seeing some of the comparisons, I don't want to say that I have buyer's remorse because I don't think that I do. Because obviously, like I mentioned before, I knew before purchasing these that they were going to be kind of similar to other polishes I already had. But overall, I definitely am super happy with these. I just love having them and think they are unique enough to keep in my collection. Maybe that is a bit of a stretch with the ethereal shade just because of how close it is to Mooncat's Flight of the Monarchs. So I think I will be keeping it for now, but it might show up in another video I have coming up soon. Speaking of upcoming videos, I actually did also consider including my Lurid haul in this video, but I do have a few more of those polishes, so I figured that can be its own video. So hopefully that'll be coming up next week, but either way, I would love to know any and all thoughts that you have about my little indie polish haul down below so we can chat about it. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.